Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome and thanks for checking out this video. In this video, we are going to be building an FPV quadcopter. And the basis of this build is going to be the Race Day Quads Bardwell F7 flight controller. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be using a 4-in-1 ESC. Now, I do not claim to be any kind of expert whatsoever in quadcopters, FPV racing, any of this stuff. This is only my second F7 build, but my philosophy is that I've got to do all the legwork and all the research uh, from multiple sources to try to figure out how to make all of this a reality. And my goal is to consolidate all of that information into one video series uh, to make it easier for beginners that come after me. I think that where I am in my learning curve allows me the opportunity to understand what it's like to still be a beginner and be able to relate to beginners and help them with the things that they find confusing. All of the items that you see before you, I paid for with my own money, sourced them myself and paid for them just like anybody else would. I am not sponsored by any of these manufacturers. I was not given any of these products and I'm not compensated in any way. However, I will leave links to these items in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means that if you use my affiliate link, it won't cost you anything, but I'll get a small proceed if you choose to buy any of the items in the description below. Now that that is out of the way, let's get to the fun stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the things that are necessary for our build. We're going to start at the center, and uh, the brains of the operation is the flight controller. And this is the Race Day Quads Bardwell F7 3-6S flight controller. Some rubber standoffs, some connectors. All right, so my intent here is to stay focused on the big picture, which is the build, and not get stuck down into the weeds about what each and every single one of these bits and bytes are on this board. There are people far smarter than me on YouTube that have electronics backgrounds that can get way deep into the weeds on all of that stuff. For me, I'm just here to show you things from a beginner's perspective. I understand that all that stuff is important, but to a beginner, what's really important is a clean layout and big pads to solder on, and this has both. I think it's safe to say that a lot of people who are new to the hobby are also new to soldering, so the fact that we've got big, huge targets here, big pads to solder on, is pretty comforting for beginners. Just to give you something to compare it to, here's a build we're gonna be doing in the future. This is the Maytech F722, and this is going to be the foundation for our next build. Let me flip them over. Bardwell's obviously with the micro SD card capability. So be on the lookout for this build in the future. That's the one we're going to be doing next. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I already completed a multi-part series on the Hollybro Kakute F7 all-in-one F7 board. All right, so I'm going to back up for a second because I keep making references to this F7 thing, and it just occurred to me that some people might not understand what F7 is. Well, I'm going to leave a link to this article uh, in the description below. Uh, Oscar, and I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, and I don't want to butcher it, so I'm not going to say it at all, um, but Oscar has an amazing blog. I've learned a ton from him. And basically what he does is he takes us on a little trip down memory lane, starting with F1. Uh, think of these as generations, the first generation, uh, then it went to F3, F4, and then F7. It skipped a bunch of numbers. Don't ask me why. But you can check this article out to see how we got from the F1 processor, processor speed of 72 megahertz, all the way down to the F7, 216 megahertz. So I will leave a link to that in the description. All right, so the next thing I want to show you are the motors. This is a quadcopter, so there are four motors. Uh, these motors are by a company by the name of iFlight, and all motors have a numerical spec to them. And it's a little confusing at first, but you will see that the spec on these motors are 2207 and then 2750 kV. All right, so what do all those crazy numbers mean anyway? Let's take a look at them real quick. 2207, well, 
there is a thing in here called a stator and 22 is a reference to the diameter of the stator and the seven is a reference to the height. So that's 2207. All right, so KV does not mean kilovolts. Uh, essentially what uh, KV2750 means is that the motor will spin at an RPM of 2750 per each volt applied to the motor. All right, so next on the list are the ESCs. And uh, the reason why I say ESCs is because there's one for each motor. So this guy right here is a four in one ESC. Uh, ESCs used to be individual. There would be one for each motor and you would solder each individual ESC to the flight controller. Well, well, we don't need to do that anymore because of this nifty little guy right here. Now it's just a matter of connecting the four in one ESC to the flight controller. Saves us a lot of headache and a lot of soldering. We still have to solder our motors to this four in one ESC, but this dramatically cuts down on the amount of soldering that we need to do for the entire project. All right, so this is a receiver and it goes on the quadcopter and essentially what it does is it receives the signals from your transmitter, which is your radio, which is your hand. So with your hand, you're using stick inputs and switch inputs. This is actually receiving all of those signals. It's going to pass that information onto the flight controller, which is going to tell the speed controllers what to do, which is going to tell the motors how fast to spin and voila, you have flight. Now, there are lots and lots and lots of makes and models and manufacturers of these, and that's all dependent upon what radio you use. I use a multi-protocol radio, and the protocol that I prefer just because I'm used to it, um, made by a company called FR Sky. Uh, the model name is the RXSR. This is a 16-channel receiver. And it's got SBUS and telemetry. We're going to get into more about what all that means later. All right, so let's talk about the radio. If you don't have a radio at all, just save yourself all the hassle and go straight to this one. This is the Radio Master TX16S. This is a multi protocol radio, which means that you can run, say, for example, the FR Sky receiver that I just showed you, uh, or you can run any number of other protocols on this radio as well. All right, let's talk frames. There are literally hundreds of frames to choose from, uh, and it really boils down to personal preference. Um, I chose this one. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's Fisital. Fisital Flyant X6 260 millimeter wingspan frame. And the thing that drew me to this one was the little cage that it has for your FPV camera and the little platform that it has for a run cam. So don't know how this is going to work out, but essentially that's the frame. Uh, you can get this frame on Amazon. I will leave a link. All right. So obviously we're going to need propellers. I've got these props right here. These are five inch props. Never used them before. Have no idea how this is going to go. All right. Let's talk FPV. This is the Rattel by Cadix. Some information there. I'll leave a link to it, but... There's that. There's our little camera. All right, so here's a little spec rundown for you. And uh, of course, I'll have a link for you in the description for that. Now, all right, so in order to send our camera signal down to the goggles, we're going to need one of these. This is a transmitter. This happens to be an Eachine TX805, 25 watts, 25 milliwatts to up to 800 milliwatt power switchable. All right, so what I've got here is a mishmash of a bunch of different things. I've got some metal standoffs. I've got some plastic standoffs. There's some more plastic standoffs. Um, I've got some 2.5 and some 3 millimeter screws of various lengths. Just a little bit box here of things that I have found in the past where you just might come up a little bit short and having this stuff on hand uh, is a heck of a lot better than, you know, having to wait another day uh, or two uh, ordering parts from wherever you get your parts. And then, of course, no build would be complete without a bunch of heat shrink tubing. Get yourself miles of heat shrink tubing. 
It's not that expensive. I think this whole thing was seven, eight bucks, something like that. Uh, and it'll last you forever. Okay, so that is an overview. That is not meant to be an exhaustive list. I have uh, an exhaustive list in the description of the video below. Uh, to do an exhaustive list would take far, far, far too long. There's a bunch more things that I can show you. And there are things that I forgot to show you, like, for example, the battery. Um, you're obviously going to need one or more of those. You're going to need a battery charger. Uh, you're going to need to solder. So you're going to need solder, maybe a helping hands, maybe solder wick soldering iron. Okay, so that will wrap things up for video number one. In video number two, we're going to start building the frame, and then we are just going to go from there. Please do me a favor and check that description for the exhaustive list of things that you will need to build. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notifications of future videos when they come out because this series is going to be several videos long. And don't forget that I'm going to be doing another F7 build after this. That will be a grand total of three F7 builds. And then at that point, we can do some comparison and contrasting of the three quads. Also coming down the pike is going to be a Cinewoop build. And let's not forget this guy right here. I'm going to do a, I'm going to get this guy up in the air and have some fun with him. I'm Steve checking out. See you in the next video.